Rally the troops. Tinker Turf Terrain is hitting the ground running. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and I have a special treat for you today. Uh, we get hit up by a lot of companies to you know promote and review their products, and we've been doing this for 10 years. We just celebrated our 10-year anniversary. Uh, knock on wood, then we'll have 10 more. But let me tell you what: when these folks hit me up uh, <laughs> from Tinker House Games. They were like, hey, we got this stuff. And I'm like, all right, cool, I'll check it out. And then I go to a website and I'm like, all right, this looks dope. And I started looking around their website even more and I was like, these guys really got it together. And I started looking at this assembly guides and all sorts of uh, products and you know expert explanations on how all this stuff works. And the very first thing when you hit their website, it splits off and it's like, do you need help assembling your stuff? Or do you wanna just buy the stuff? Which I think is very upfront and very, very novel idea to be quite honest. And well, without talking for another two minutes about absolutely the same thing over and over again, let me just say, I was more than impressed. I was like, yes, I would love to check this out. We got it in the studio here. We got um, the all, I think like six of the sets that they offer and they have a whole bunch of different colors. So even though they only have six products, they still have multiple colors for this. So I was like, yes, absolutely send it to us. We'll take a look at it, um, tell you which, what we think. And I, well, I'm, I'm blown away and I don't get blown away very often by, by a lot of, by just about anything out there. So let's, let's jump to it. Let me show you their website and kind of show you what I'm talking about, what impressed me so much and where I think it will potentially help you in your hobby as well. So here it is, it's TinkerHouseGames.com, but the product is Tinker Turf. So just remember Tinker, Google will probably get you there because it already knows you're into wargaming, whatever. Like I said, first thing you see, assembly or shop now. So well, we'll just show you the products real quick. Like I said, there's like six different ones in here. Um, they're ready to roll, there they are right there, but they can be combined to form a whole bunch of, of cool superstructures, much like the one you saw in the intro there, and I'm gonna show you some more featured images because I'm sure we didn't quite assemble ours up to snuff, but we did the best we can getting it all back together. Very similar to what you see right there in uh, that picture. Now, something else I wanna point out to you that I thought was really neat is the build instructions are available right here. You're gonna need those because they actually don't come in the product itself, which really isn't that big of a deal because everybody has a smartphone. You can literally have your phone out and be looking at it, or you can print them out, whichever. Uh, maybe there's a cost savings for them. I don't exactly know, but I feel like the price point, you can't really complain about it too much. Um, and they do tell you on the packaging, hey, you gotta go here. So first off, there's some tips and tricks. There's uh, some glues you're gonna wanna get, and they provide all the links right here, and some really cool clamps that I didn't know about. I think I'm gonna use them outside of this project, and some super pointy tweezers, which you don't have to mess around with exacto blades and you know worry about cutting yourself. You just have to worry about stabbing yourself, which, I would much rather accidentally stab myself every now and then than slice my finger. Let me tell you what, I hate stubbing my toes and I hate slicing my fingers with exacto blades. Both of which I do on a semi regular basis and I can't seem to get around it. Regardless, <laughs> tips and tricks right here, boom. Assembly instructions, it's all right here. Now if you're like, oh hey, that's cool. There's like six different products. I don't know what I want. I play 40K or I play this or I play that. What do I need? I wanna buy stuff right now, what do I need? Oh, well, they actually have you covered there too. That's what I'm saying. They have it all covered right here. It's crazy. So you go back to uh, their main site right here and they have suggested bundles for games. And you're like, ah, oh, okay, fine. They're just trying to sell me stuff. No, well, yes, but <laughs> they actually want to sell you the right stuff and show you how to use it. They basically do everything for you except for put it together. Like, come on, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm really excited. Products don't get me excited very often. I'm excited for this. So <laughs> here's the suggested bundles. You've got uh, Gaslands, you've got Medium Battles, if you're used to playing on a three by three, like something like Necromunda or something like that, Star Wars Legion, perfect for both. Large Battle, 48 by 72, or 48 by 48, four by four, or 72 by 48, six by four. I think we all know what games we're talking about right here, and boom, there goes the dynamite. So they give you some ideas about what to pick up, uh, even to add more height, add more scatter terrain, Striking centerpiece, uh, the, the railway depot, we actually have it here, it's pretty neat. I'm gonna show you that uh, put together and on the tabletop to give you an idea of size and scale and all sorts of different things right there. So, I've shown you all these things. What the heck is it and what does it look like? 
So here's the featured image from the start of the video. I pulled this off their Instagram. This is a look from the maglev uh, train, rail, station, terminus head, whatever, you, whatever words you want to add to it to make it sound impressive. It's pretty cool. You can kind of get the perspective of standing on top of the cargo crates, on top of the train, looking down the track, ready to defend, as you know those yellow marines tend to, tend to do. Uh, that's sort of their thing. And then there is a another striking picture also from their Instagram or maybe their website, I don't know. That kind of gives you an idea of uh, more you can do with it kind of looking back at it with the rails kind of coming out towards uh, the picture here. Now it is a little bit more elevated. Uh, that's just like some foam terrain that they put underneath it. So it kind of gives you an idea of maybe some supplemental things you can kind of do with it right here. But, you know, long story short, there's a lot of different narratives you can do for this terrain and a lot of different things you can do with it. It's only six pieces, but it comes in like four different colors. So you can really have a blast and kind of match it to existing mats and existing backdrops and existing perhaps campaign narratives that you already have going on in your life. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't show you where you can actually buy it. So on that front split screen, if you go to assembly, well, I showed you where that goes. If you go to buy or shop, it takes you here. And this is where all of the different sectors are. So like I said, there's six different products right here and you can pick them up in different colors. Now the container set's pretty neat because you get four of them, they're easy to put together um, because they're basically boxes with uh, some you know, little uh, feet pads right there which are pretty, pretty easy and pretty um, to assemble. There's their Instagram feed where you see I got some of those pictures from. So $24.99 gets you the set of the stuff. It comes in four different colors. And it's the website's just laid out. I mean, I just love it. I love everything about this product. I don't say that, that stuff very often. So I'm really blown away by the professionalism, the layout, just the sheer presentation of all of this stuff here. It's really, really, really well done. You don't see this very often. So it's really cool to see. Now, uh, the containers, $24.99. I feel like that's cheaper than GW's uh, Sector Mechanicum terrain crate whatever they're called those are great kits don't get me wrong you can do a lot of cool conversion stuff with them but at the end of the day sometimes just building the items to already have them painted or ready to go remember all of this stuff is already technically painted it's printed but it's ready to go once you put it together boom that's it no more no painting no priming no nothing ready to go put it on your tabletop and time to play so you're probably wondering, how is that even possible? What kind of wizardry is happening here? Well, basically, I guess the easiest way to explain it is this stuff is pre-printed just like, you know, those uh, board game floors and stuff that you get with some of the Games Workshop products out there that, you know, you kind of just never use in a lot of cases, uh, which is kind of, you know, kind of a detriment to all the development time Games Workshop puts in their stuff. But that being said, the technology is out there and obviously it has been harnessed for our enjoyment and our hobby, um, I don't know, or just uh, our hobby fun. Huh? So this is your, what is this, elevations. This is the elevation set. Uh, this is what's gonna give you some cool platforms and different things. It's great for Legion, great for Necromunda, great for 40K, uh, great for a lot of games out there that aren't fantasy based, of course. So what makes this different? Well, obviously this is printed card, hard card slash paper. You're not gonna wanna get it wet. I'll just throw that out there. I don't, I don't know if it says anywhere, don't get it wet, but I'm just gonna tell you, don't get this stuff wet because it probably isn't gonna end well. But as you can tell, you're just gonna go through, pop this stuff out and glue it together. And gluing it together is as simple as just using some white glue or as they suggest this Aliens uh, Turbo Tacky Glue or the little glue stick thing stuff right here, which both of which we have, uh, you can get these off the, the links right on uh, <clears throat> TinkerTurf site. And it's very easy. Now, let me tell you what, Aliens is legit glue. This stuff well, does not suck. My moms used to watch their show back in the 90s and they recommended the glue that came in the white bottle. It's, it's, you know, obviously it's 20 years later, it's been redefined, it's been perfected, it looks like this now. But let me tell you what, that stuff, my mom used this stuff all the time. So this glue doesn't suck, it's spiky mom approved. <laughs> let me tell you what, 20 years later, it's probably still good stuff. We're about to use it here. Also, these little mini clamps, how cool is that? Tiny clamp alert. So <laughs> all you got to do to pop this stuff up. Oh, let me show you. So let's jump over to the page. There's the page. So here's the elevation. So here's where you're going to get your instructions. Pull them up on your smartphone. Boom. Step one. Step one actually starts right where we are right here on the same exact page. 
with piece number, let me show you, with piece number, it's not like some crazy instruction guide where you're searching all over sprues and stuff. So this is going to start right here, piece uh, number one, and I'm looking back over at the screen, number five, number four, number five, number four, and then you've got the little uh, halves right here, which are also on that screen, which are number 13, 14, 10, and 12. So all you got to do, take your tweezers, just pop them out. Like I said, you don't really have to do a whole lot of work as you would expect, just like some of those board games, that you, expansions and things that you've gotten from Games Workshop in the past probably. So we're just gonna take that. And then all you do, they literally, like I said, they literally do everything for you except for actually assemble it. They tell you where to put the glue. Oh, actually you gotta punch these out too. So you punch these out and what this is gonna do is form a three dimensional kind of look to, um, to the the terrain right here and you just glue those down put a little glue on there it's going to be white glue it doesn't matter exactly how much oops how much you use and then you can just kind of sit it here clamp it use all these little clamps this stuff dry the tacky glue it's tacky it's going to dry quick it's not like elmer's glue where it has to take forever get your little tabletop fan turn it on get to going it'll even help uh, the dry time even more and once that's done then you just move on to the next step you start assembling the foot and i already pre-assembled a piece right here just to show you this is what it'll look like so it's got three-dimensional depth to it all the way around and then you uh assemble the feet right here at the bottom and i don't know if i'll try to get some light in here but you can see where there's a little bit of glue at the bottom and it doesn't matter nope you can't even see it but there's clear glue uh, right, let's see, no, oh, there it is, right there, you can see it, there's clear, it's just like, it dries clear, it's just like white glue, just giving it that strength and that rigidity to slot into the, uh, to the feet legs, and you can set the different elevations, so it's that easy to put it together, and the best part is, once it's together, you can glue assemblies together, or you can leave it modular, which I'm going to show you here in a second, with all the terrain laid out, and make your own tabletops as you go on the fly. So here's all the terrain set up. One of each of the sets, uh, including the, the rail system, the crates, all the elevations and things like that, the barricades. There's actually a lot more terrain. <laughs> Once you get it all together, there's like three more bags of it. So like they show you on the website, they tell you exactly what will fill up what kind of space. This is basically a four by four ish space right here. Well, maybe more of like a three by three, but you could, probably with this stuff easily fill a four by four and have a big centerpiece like that but they're pretty spot on with the recommendations there now as far as size goes i mean it's all the scale you know 28 mil 32 whatever heroic or normal size you want to say right there and it's just great looking stuff i mean it's all a lot of it is actually oh it goes this way a lot of it is actually movable you can take these crates out you can do all sorts of things you can set some things up to be as modular or as not modular as you want it to be like if you want to take you know and pre-assemble these and glue these down so you know they actually and you have your little braces at the bottom you can do that or if you just want to leave it separate so you can kind of set it all up whichever way each different time you can do that too i mean there's different ways to set up the ladders and things so it's all very very modular and very cool it's pretty much up to you how you want to set it up so let's Let's uh, let's grab some uh, some tanks and stuff and put them on here just to give you an idea of how this would look with some different size figures and kind of you know let you decide if this is something for you if you want to be ready to hobby or hobby and be ready to play right afterwards. And here's a better look at some of the scaling. I mean, obviously, I think you can see it is the the appropriate scale. I do like that the larger. Uh, the larger gantries right there will support stuff like land raiders and repulsors if they don't have those big aerials on them right there, but no big deal. Even the Dreadnought <laughs> looks a little, uh, I don't know, like tucked in behind that little railway system. And the one thing that I like that's really, really cool, and I can't say enough good things about this because nobody does stairs right, is that the stairs here, as I try to like completely ruin everything, you slide the base underneath it. So all the dudes can actually, you can actually represent 
guys standing on these stairs no matter where they are. Well, and that's a wrap. <laughs> they even have these little barricades, some bigger ones and some smaller ones like over there, that's a bigger one. This doesn't exactly work for Primaris type stuff. And look at this, you can actually model these with the openings on it or closed, depending on what you wanna do. But man, there's just all sorts of room for activities all over this stuff and it looks great. It's, you know, it's made out of paper. It's basically that hard card, so you're not gonna wanna get it wet. But once it's on the tabletop, it's sturdy. You know, if you're not trying to hold a video camera in one hand and actually do something in the in the other, it's gonna be a little bit easier to use, trust me. And remember, you can glue all this stuff down or it can be modular, whatever you decide to do. It kinda doesn't matter, you just, just do literally whatever you want. They, <laughs> all you have to do is put it together. They literally do everything else for you. It couldn't, it really couldn't be easier. I'm super impressed, like I've said several times, with this terrain here. And I think, uh, I definitely think they have a hit on their hands once people realize how cool this is and the fact that you just hobby on it and then it's ready to go and you can have crates, you can have barricades, you can have tank traps, you can have sky's pretty much the limit. Boom, there it is, super easy. So that's it for this one. I've talked, I feel like I've talked it up enough. Uh, check it out, uh, check out their guide. Like I said, this is about three by three right here. So this gives you a good solid idea of how much terrain, it's one of each kit. And you know, they're about 20, 25 bucks a piece. So this gives you an idea of exactly what you might want for your tabletop size, dimensions you know, cover all sorts of different things right there. So check them out. It's over at tinkerhouse.com. Uh, we'll put the link below in the comments, in the video description. Click it, bop it, twist it, go over there, check them out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.